Hey, welcome back, gang. Today we're at Avenue Machinery in Vernon, BC, Canada. And we're checking out this 2021 Kubota RTV X1140WA. It's a pretty versatile machine. You're going to want to stick around. So this beast is a three-cylinder, four-cycle diesel with overhead valve. It's 123 cc or 68.5 cubic inch. It's 124.4 horsepower at 3,000 RPM. And your maximum torque is going to be 51.4 foot-pounds at 2,000 to 2,400 RPM. It's directly injected, fuel injected, forced lubrication. It's liquid cooled with a pressurized rad. It's got a spark arrester on the muffler. So your fuel tank capacity is 30 liters or 7.9 gallons. Your cooling system capacity is 5.2 liters or 5.5 quarts. Your steering type is a hydromatic power steering. Your front suspension is a dual A-arm independent suspension with coils. It's got a differential lock on the front axle and it's a limited slip diff before you lock it. Your rear axle is going to be dual A-arm sus independent suspension with coil. Both front and back are the same. Your transmission is going to be a variable hydrostatic transmission. It's called the VHT-X. You've got your high and low range and your forward neutral reverse. It is a 4x4. Your traveling speed, top speed of 40 kilometers an hour or 25 miles an hour. You do have a hydraulic system here for the bed, so it is a hydraulic pump, an open center type. It is, um, or it has rather, an alternator rather than just the stator, which is kind of cool. 60 amp charging capacity. Your battery is a 650 cranking amp, 12 volt of course. An optional block heater if you want it. Your gauges will show you engine coolant temperature, fuel gauge, and hour meter. Your instrument panel will also show you glow plugs, glow plugs, oil level, charge status, parking brake indicator. And you've got two 37 and a half watt blue tint halogen headlights on the front and two brake lights on the rear. You have optional lights you can uh, get for it, uh, work lights and hazard signals and that kind of stuff. It does actually come with a horn. And uh, your overall dimensions on this bad boy, the length is going to be 3640 millimeters or 143 inches. Your width is 1605 millimeters, 63 inches. Your height is 2,025 millimeters or 79 inches. Your wheelbase is 2,495 millimeters or 98.2 inches. Your ground clearance in the front is 275 millimeters or 10.8 inches. Your rear is 235 millimeters or 9.3 inches. Your turning radius without the brake is 5.4 meters or 17.7 feet. Your weight is 1,075 kilograms or 2,370 pounds. Now your cargo box dimensions. Your width is going to be 1,465 millimeters or 57 inches. Your length 
is going to be 1300 millimeters long or 51 inches long. That's for the long box. This actually transforms into a, a long or short box by uh, getting rid of the back seats, just like the uh, Kawasaki Trans 4x4 that we had. Uh, so yeah, so the long box is 1300 millimeters or 51 inches, or the short box version of it is 60, sorry, 660 millimeters or 26 inches. The depth of the box is 295 millimeters or 11.2. And the height from the ground is 587 millimeters. Oh, sorry, 887 millimeters, 34.9 inches. Your long box will have about 19 cubic feet of volume. Your short box will have 9.9 .9 cubic feet. And your long box weight is going to be 500 kilograms or 1112 pounds for the long one, and 300 kilograms or 661 pounds for the short box. Your tires are basically the same size front and back, 25 by 10 by 12 ATV six ply tires. And they're obviously more for uh, turf. They're not very aggressive, which will be good if you're working on a farm and stuff like that. You do have an optional what they call an HDWS tire. I'm assuming that's a bit more aggressive. Same size, 25 by 10 by 12, and also six plies as well. So this is a pretty neat looking workhorse. It does come with its own hitch on the front, which is kind of cool. Got some decent sized headlights. I would probably still recommend changing those to LEDs if you plan on doing any night work with this. Decent tire size. Got lots of space. This is a pretty bulletproof machine. I like how it's transformable, just like the Kawasaki Trans 4x4. So the sides will fold out, seats fold up. And so this will make into a much larger box. It's also rhino lined again as well. I love that idea. It is so cool that they decided to do that. Some of their models actually aren't, but what a great idea. And if I remember right, I believe this will still be a tipping box. I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. Pretty solid roof up here too. I would definitely recommend getting yourself the roof for it as well. Just keep yourself out of the sun or the elements, especially if you're working out in it all day. So here's like your light switch. This is your parking brake. Here's your tilt steering. And some air controls. I'll do it uh, from the other side. Got yeah, pretty good instrumentation. I I can't tell if you can see that or not. You got the horn button right beside it. Here's your gear shifter, fully automatic. So if you can drive a car, that silver pedal is your locking rear diff. This is your four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive button, or lever. You do have a 12-volt power supply there too. This is a glove box. And you got cup holders. Very cool. A little bit of storage under the seats. I doubt there'd be anything back here for storage. Yeah. Fuel tank is there. like the metal box. Interesting that there's not a trailer hitch though. You think you might want to tow with this thing. You gotta love that diesel sound. Automated, so cool. Hers. 
Сладкий. Well guys, this will about sum up another episode of Canadian Quarters Review. I'm Mark and we're checking out this 2021 Kubota RTV X1140WA. Thanks again for watching guys. I'm so excited with how fast this channel is growing and it's all because of you guys. So keep subscribing please. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers. That would be so cool. It's a great landmark. And uh, so appreciate all you guys do. Thank you again for shopping on the Amazon links. That's helping out big time too. So appreciate that. And thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.